now let's have a look at um, the need, yeah, why we need to develop ourselves. Very easy. One, and the very first, the environment has changed. It's not any more stable environment like it was 50 years ago. Yeah? We are not living in a communism like we used to live several years ago. Yeah? And everything is dynamic, everything is changing. The situation requires us to acquire, to obtain new skills and abilities in order to match our abilities with the environment. And we need because the environment is changing, because new technology is developing, because um, new approaches are being developed in the management. All of these things we should know and understand. Okay? Then organizations are becoming more complex, yeah, and complex and diverse. Pay attention to diversity. Diversity means that you have employees from various countries, various cultural backgrounds, various genders, ethnicities, so different uh, type of employees. Yeah? And with all employee type, you need to have some kind of a system, a management system, that is uh, the best approach for everybody. And if you don't update your knowledge as a manager, then without updating the knowledge and skills, it is very uh, difficult to manage complex and diverse organizations. Okay? So, everybody has skills and abilities. You all have skills and abilities. All of you. Nobody who is here in this room doesn't have the skills and abilities. But as the technology, the software needs updating, so our skills and abilities need updating and enhancing and developing. Without this, we might find ourselves that in some situations we cannot make the right decision or we don't remember things or somebody else other than us is making the good this is the best idea. And we are thinking that why didn't I come up with this idea? Maybe because I'm so lazy now, or I didn't think, or I, I haven't read about this. I don't know that. And there, are, there, there is existing need and developing need for the project management. If you go on Jobs G, yeah, you will see that there are a lot of um, uh, information, a lot of jobs about managing projects. Why? Because managers, are, if you have empowered employees in your company, if you have empowered employees, empowerment is one of our uh, next topics, so not today, but later on we're going to talk about it. If you have empowered employees, you can delegate your tasks, yeah? you can give them managerial tasks and they will be involved into managerial decision making. Why this is required? Because subordinates need to be developed. Now, I would like you to pay attention to this word here. See? Complacency. This word is, um, it means that the organization that becomes complacent, yeah? The organization um, whose management believes that they have already achieved everything that believes that already we are on the top of the mountain, so what else should we do? And they discontinue thinking about innovation, discontinue thinking about development, discontinue thinking about the new skills and abilities that should acquire. Unfortunately, such organizations fall under the trap of complacency. Kartula Vesaris tweet sahureba, or complacency. You think you, you, you think that you already achieved everything. You think that you don't need to do this anymore. Yeah? No innovation, no that. Then you are complacent. You think, ah, I've achieved everything. Now, if you think like that, your organization might quickly you lose the competitive edge. Because um, don't go in the swars, you know, no? mm -hmm. uh, your competitors would probably think about new developments, would probably think about updating their knowledge and skills. So never fall under the trap of complacency. You as the students, imagine you will graduate and so will the other 50 or 60,000 students graduate at that year of your graduation. Yeah? Now, how are you different from them? Ask yourself this question, how you are different from them? If you know that you are exactly you are different because you have some competitive edge, you know some things better, yeah? you have actually developed some skills and abilities at your study that others might not have, then you are okay, yeah? you are on the top. And um, the organizations that will hire you, they will look for something that is outstanding, not exactly the same as other 60,000 people. 
but some outstanding skills. So when you study, yeah, try to uh, do a little bit more than uh, just uh, read something or uh, um, uh, learn something one one uh, hour before the class. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So do every everybody does this. It's easy to do. But uh, if you really want to uh, be on you know, a competitive edge, you have more than anybody. You should do something more. Just one one step. Uh, um, uh, one step forward in comparison with the others, okay? And so this applies to any business field, to any organization, to the university, to um, uh, the um, factory, to any, any advertising company. Everywhere, the complacency yeah, is a phase of um, uh, very, very bad negative role, yeah? Now, so you need the more empowered in innovation. If you, don't, if you are complacent, you don't think about innovation anymore. Knowledge and skills to seek new market opportunities. Everybody knows company Nokia, right? Do you know that Nokia has changed its business twice in their life? Completely changed. First, Nokia was um, a wood uh, factory yeah, in Finland. They used to cut the, the, the trees yeah, and then make um, the, the wooden materials. Really. Then, after some years, Nokia has turned uh, its business into rubber making. Resins and uh, they used to make rubber boots for them. When I was little, I had no gear boots. And exactly, the logo was exactly the same as it's now on the mobile. Yeah. So Nokia was making rubber boots one one uh, fine day, yeah. But the management saw the new opportunity in the market. See here, seeking market opportunity. If you don't see the opportunity, yeah, and if you see the opportunity but you are not ready for it, or if you see and you are ready for that but you don't have the ability to mobilize the resources yeah, and to change your business direction, unfortunately, you are not um, in the top five yeah, anymore. You lose the competitive edge. Now, thinking about Nokia that has changed its business twice, and now Nokia is uh, everybody knows. Yeah. Um, yeah, boots, yeah, yeah, everybody, yeah. Yeah. everybody has probably out of 10 people, maybe 7 people have Nokia mobile phone. So, you know, this is kind of uh, like uh, seeing the new opportunity and acting upon uh, this opportunity. And if you don't see, unfortunately you cannot make it. Yeah? And how to make you see this opportunity? Only if you have the specific knowledge. Yeah? Only if you scan the environment constantly, if you read financial press, if you look at your competition, what they are doing. Managerial job is something ongoing. You never can stop, yeah? You never can sleep. Even in your sleep, you should think about how to improve your uh, business, yeah? So, um, HR managers, yeah, that are, are uh, equipped with the skills, they see the new market opportunity, they develop their people, yeah, they're subordinate. So these people can um, make a, a bigger profit for the company later on. Maximize the use of technology. Now, some managers think that if we have sophisticated technology installed, that's it. Yeah, we've done it. But uh, as you see, it's not like that. Yeah, if you have installed the new sophisticated technology, you also should have people who know how to use this technology. And if nobody knows, then so what? Yeah, you have a satellite um, television, or you have. Um, an antenna yeah, that uh, provides you with uh, um, information from the space. If you don't know how to use it properly and how to apply this information in your business, then what do you need it for? Yeah. So, uh, well, one minute, yeah, and we'll finish this and we'll have a break. So, um, uh, the new technology, yeah, you should see how it develops. You should again see what are the information technology use and what are the um, te technology development in my uh, competitors yeah? and what is the, um, the ability for it, what will give me a competitive ability, which technology. And then you have to learn and adapt it. Of course it is connected with finance.